Hi girls, okay, so I just have an itty bitty haul to do. Um, it's really tiny, it's nothing special at all, but I just wanted to come on here and show you what I got and do like a brief review of both of the products. Yes, there are only two. Okay, so first of all, I got this. It is the Benefit Boing Concealer. And this is how it came. It's really cute packaging. And it looks like this. And you just, it's just like a screw top. And it looks like that. I've used this concealer for about three days now. And I love it. I have nothing bad to say about this. It works extremely well. It's an industrial strength concealer which appeals to me anyway because I have really dark circles under my eyes and I use this under my eyes now and it just is perfect. It works like a dream. Also for blemishes or if you have a pimple or anything like that, this is perfect. It really does cover it up. If you are looking for a really good reliable concealer, I definitely recommend this. Mine is, I got this in number one. It's the lightest shade. And you always want to pick a concealer that's a shade lighter than your foundation. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So just remember that. Don't ever pick a concealer that is the same shade as your foundation because it won't have any effect at all. And I've made that mistake. I remember the first time that I ever bought concealer, I made that mistake and it was horrible. So just remember that. The other thing that I bought was also from Benefit and it is the 10... I think it's just called 10. I'm never sure if it's perfect 10 or 10, but I think it's 10. Anyways, it's the 10 bronzer and highlight. And it looks like this. And again, packaging is really, really cute. And basically what it is, is a two in one bronzer and highlight. So this side obviously is the bronzer and the next side is the highlight. It comes with this little brush, which you're supposed to use and keep like one side always for the bronzer and the other side for the highlight, so you always have to keep it like on the right sides. But I don't really like using, I mean they're really cute, but I don't really like using these brushes, so I actually use my own face brush, which I've always used for bronzer. It's just the Dior one, and because I don't like such a defined like line between my highlight and my bronzer I just kind of swoop it like that so I don't go around in circles but I do go up and down like this and it does mix a little bit but not too much so I just apply it like that on my cheekbone and you can see I have it on right now you can kind of see the shimmer yeah you can probably see it better there so it just contours nicely and then gives a nice shimmer and a nice blow up there. I love this. I definitely recommend it for any of you that want to achieve like a very healthy looking glow without looking shiny or at the same time without looking too overly orange or overly tanned. Because I know that sometimes bronzers can be a little bit too pigmented but this definitely isn't. And especially if you use it the way I use it with this brush, it's not gonna be too pigmented at all. My main worry with this before I used it was that I wouldn't get a strong enough contour because, you know, both colors are mixed in together, so I didn't know if this would be strong enough as a contour. Honestly, I had nothing to worry about. It works perfectly well. All you have to do is, if you've put it on and you think that you know you want a little bit stronger um, contouring on your face just dip the brush only like on the the bronzer side and just go over it again and it'll be fine and the box is big enough and if you use a brush that's small enough or that's suitable then you can actually pick which one you want to use as well as blending them together so I definitely recommend it it's a great product both of these actually are great products um, and yeah, so that's my review and my little haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out my blog for pictures and all that kind of fun stuff, 
then the link will be in the sidebar as usual. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.